What is going on fam? Today's video is all about Uniqlo white tees. No need for introductions, a brand that's hard to beat when it comes to quality and an affordable price point. But one thing that confuses me every time I step into a Uniqlo store is the amount of white tees they actually have to offer. So if you're like me who have no idea what the differences are for each t-shirt, I got you covered. I've done all the hard work for you, so do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel so I can continue to create content for you guys. So in today's review, I'm gonna be talking about seven white tees from Uniqlo. I'm gonna be talking about the price, the fit, the feel, the color, I'll get to that in a bit, and the subtle differences for each and how I feel about them. And before I get into that, I'm 176 cm in height, 76 kilograms, and moderately built. So let's jump right into it. First on the list, in no particular order, we have the Men's Plus J Supima Cotton Relaxed Fit Crew Neck Short Sleeve T-Shirt. If you're unaware, fashion designer Jill Sanders launched the Plus J collection back in 2009 and finally making a comeback with their new collection in 2021. You're looking at the Supima T in a size M. Honestly, not the greatest first impression. The fit feels slightly on the larger side, which is strange because I'm wearing a size M and most of the other tees you're gonna see is a size M and they fit close to perfect, but this one is just a slight bit off. You you can definitely see that the shoulder seam has passed my shoulder bone and keep in mind this is a relaxed fit not an oversized fit. Not a big deal, the rest of the fit is okay. One amazing thing about this tee is it's made out of 100% Supima cotton so you're gonna get the best in terms of comfort and comparing it to the Supima cotton crew neck tee, I can say that this tee definitely feels a bit more premium and have a little bit more weight to it. But one thing that I need to point out which I'm absolutely disappointed with is the quality of the collar. In my opinion the collar is a bit too wide and it doesn't feel as sturdy as compared to the other white tees. Honestly, the stitching quality looks all right, but I just have this feeling that there's one single thread that's holding up the entire collar up, which I rarely get from Uniqlo. One small difference with this tee is the body seam actually have a split on the side, so one small feature to look out for. Oh, and the color on these is actually a pure white, so I'll be using this to compare with other tees you're gonna see later on. Personally, I don't think this tee is worth the price tag. Yes, you're gonna get supreme comfort with the Supima cotton, but the color really does it for me. It's really weak for the price tag, and maybe I'm just not a relaxed fit kind of guy. I was expecting better quality from Uniqlo considering this is a collaboration, but I guess it is what it is. Next up on the list, we have Uniqlo's crew neck short sleeve t-shirt priced at 39.90 ringgit. Also in a size M, and actually I'm gonna be wearing an M for all the tees, so I'm not gonna repeat myself, so just keep that in mind. With this tee, you can definitely see that the fit has gone down, but it still has that relaxed sort of vibe. I own a couple of Uniqlo tees, like the Supima Cotton one, and the Arism oversized tee and I gotta say this tee is noticeably rougher but not in a bad way. The fabric is just not as soft as the Supima cotton tee but I can confidently say that you're not going to feel any friction against your skin. What I personally like about this tee is actually how thick the fabric is and how sturdy the collar feels, unlike the one from the Plus J's. So you don't have to worry about your collar going out of shape after a couple washes. The color in this is actually an off-white, so here's a quick color comparison for your reference. Next on the list, we have Uniqlo's Dry Color Crew Neck Short Sleeve T-Shirt, which is the most affordable T-Shirt you're going to see in today's video, priced at 19.90 ringgit. First impressions with the tee, it feels incredibly light. Lightweight, but the fit on the other hand feels more like a muscle tee with the fitted sleeves and chest. However, despite it looking pretty tight on my body, I gotta say it's still very comfortable to the wear for the price. Honestly, there's no noticeable pulling or restriction in my movement when I'm walking around this tee, not like the ones you get from cheaper brands. One major downside here is how see-through the tee actually is, so if you're not a confident guy who's afraid of showing a little bit of nipple, I'll definitely not recommend this tee. Another thing to bring up is the quality of the collar. Despite it being 1990 ringgit, you're getting a way better quality build compared to the Plus J's, which is incredibly surprising. And visually, the collar is on the tighter side, which I absolutely love. Honestly, this tee is hard to beat with the price point. Personally, I will wear it at home because of the thin cotton fabric. With the color, this tee is a pure white, which is similar to the Plus J's. All in all, a very decent tee that doesn't break the bank. Next up, we have Uniqlo's Raglan's Half Sleeve T-Shirt, which I got at a discounted price of 39.90 ringgit. The Raglan sleeve is pretty much a type of tee where the sleeve extends not only to the shoulders, but all the way to the neckline, which creates this long diagonal seam that runs from your armpits to your neck, compared to the typical drop shoulder look you would get from an oversized tee, which I'll get to in a second. The fit on this is definitely more on an oversized side, and one major difference aside from the Raglan stitch is, the hem is actually cinched where you typically see with sweaters 
but not a big fan with t-shirts because it creates this horizontal line that makes me look shorter than I already am. The fit is alright, nothing to yell about, but one thing that I gotta give credit to to this tee is the quality. The fabric is comfortable and it definitely has a bit more weight to it which I actually look for with tees. With the collar as well, you can see that it's definitely on the thicker side and it feels really sturdy unlike the plus J's. The color in this is actually an off-white as you can see and the funny story is when I entered Uniqlo, I had no idea this tee existed because it wasn't available online so if you're Malaysian and if you like the look of this tee, just head to your closest Uniqlo store and get them. Next up we have Uniqlo's U Oversized Crew Neck Short Sleeve T-Shirt. The tee you see here costs 59 ringgit, and the first impressions is how short the tee actually is. It's slightly too short for my body for an oversized fit but overall the fit is alright. Two things to notice with this tee is one, the available pocket on the left side of the chest and two, there's actually a split hem where the front of the shirt is actually shorter compared to the back which you would sometimes see with polo tees. Personally, not a big fan of it but if you like it, you like it. Fabric on this tee is definitely on the heavier side and one thing to notice despite it being 100% cotton is the significant drop in comfort. Noticeable friction when I'm moving and walking around in this tee but it's not a deal breaker. You gotta remember that I'm comparing Uniqlo standards here so it's still acceptable. Collar in this is slightly on the tighter side which I love and it feels really really sturdy and the color in these are actually a pure white. Next up we have a fan favorite, we have Uniqlo's Supima Cotton Crew Neck Short Sleeve T-Shirt Priced at 39.90 ringgit, which I actually reviewed along with some popular brands So if you want to know which brand won that battle, definitely check out that video here And honestly, I don't think this tee is overrated at all Immediately, I feel way more relaxed and comfortable from swapping up from the previous oversized tee. It's super soft and super lightweight, which you would expect with Suprema Cotton. The fit is near perfect to say the least, in between relaxed and the muscle fit, which I appreciate. Collar is solid with the Suprema tee, but personally, I prefer a tighter collar. And one thing I want to point out is the thickness of the fabric. Like I said, the fabric is on the thinner and lighter side, so if you're someone who prefers a thicker, more heavier fabric, then this tee is definitely not for you. Another thing to point out is the opacity. Under certain lighting, you're going to see that the shirt is slightly more see-through so you might encounter the same nipple problems so keep that in mind. The color in this is an off-white and overall I would say this tee is really amazing. Hard to beat when it comes to comfort, fit and price point. Last but not the least, we have Uniqlo's U Aerism Cotton Oversized Crew Neck Half Sleeve T-shirt priced at 59.90 ringgit. First impressions, wow. Just wow. Despite the tea not being Supima cotton, I gotta give credit when credit is due. This tea is incredibly comfortable. I guess Uniqlo's Aerism line never fails to do the job. Comparing it to the other two oversized tea, which is the Raglan fit and the other U oversized fit, I gotta say the Aerism one just fits my body way better. Honestly, I'm counting myself lucky here because the fit is phenomenal. You can see that the length is perfect, unlike the U oversized fit, which is slightly too short for my body. And I gotta say, the drop shoulder is exactly what I look for when it comes to an oversized fit. The sleeve length and fit is phenomenal to say the least as well, as compared to the raglan fit, which is noticeably flared out. The color in this is actually a pure white, and honestly, I'm trying to nitpick here, but I can't seem to find anything bad to say about this tee. It just fits too well, and it's incredibly comfortable. So no doubt, the best oversized tee from Uniqlo. So with all seven tees covered, which one ranks the top? Honestly, it's really hard to say because I'm comparing apples and oranges here. But if I were to pick one based off comfort and fit, I gotta give the Arizm oversized fit for the oversized pick and the Suprema Cotton Crew Neck tee for the more relaxed fit. I would also give credit to the Raglan Sleeve tee because the quality of that is just top notch which I hope to see more of in Uniqlo's future collections. So that's it for today's video, hope you guys enjoyed it and if this video helped you in any way be sure to like, subscribe, you have no idea how much that actually helps the channel grow and let me know down in the comments which tee do you guys like best from Uniqlo and I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, stay dapper.